want it, get it, don't ever give up, you got it, you want to make it, then chase it, no one can stop you, stop you, they're gonna hate you, hate you, but let them hate you, this fine, cause if they stand in your way, then you gotta leave them behind. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Sam Moore Burns and welcome back to episode 51 of the South Alabama Dynasty. We are on week 5 and this week we have to take on the 11th ranked Georgia Bulldogs in our home opener. And we're 2-0 to this point in the season with some pretty close wins. Both wins 31-27 over Kent State and Kentucky respectively. And you'll look at the SEC standings real quick before we get into the Heisman race. But this is a really tough game against Georgia on some really tough sliders. So we're going to go ahead and get into it and see if we can try to compete. Don't have too many expectations to win. Let's see if we can compete with the Georgia Bulldogs. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who've been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, so starting this game off, Bilal Marshall is in the shotgun, and he's going to keep this one on the read option and take it up the right side, up to the 30-yard line for a gain of seven yards right there. Bilal Marshall, you'll see his season, pa season passing stats. Um, his interceptions aren't up there. That's one thing he's struggled with so far to start the season. But we'll see if he can correct that in this game as he's going to go ahead and get nine yards on that third and three. Now first down and 10, Marshall back to pass. He's going to go deep for Jacob Morris. Big gain right there for Jacob Morris. A 19-yard reception for the big tight end, his first catch of the day. And we're about a, uh, over a minute and a half into this ball game now, and Bilal Marshall is going to be back to pass. He'll find Kyle Clifford on the left side of the field who's going to break a tackle and get down to about the 21-yard line. That is a 19-yard reception for the senior wide receiver, his first catch of the day. And now second and goal, Marshall is back to pass, and he will dump it down to Billy Cooper, who is going to get his way into the end zone for an 8-yard touchdown catch. And that will put the Jaguars up 7-0 on the 11th-ranked Bulldogs. So five minutes remaining now in the first quarter. Under center is Ramsey. He's going to hand off to J.J. Green. Not A.J. Green, but J.J. Green. He's going to break a tackle right there. J.J. Green out across the 40, and he's going to be taking down eventually at the 19-yard line, a 46-yard gain, and just another example of how, uh, how we struggle tackling. Uh, so far this season. So A.J. Terman, the back of running backs, can get four yards right there and get it to a first down and goal. He would be injured on the play, but he would be all right. And on first and goal, J.J. Green is going to turn this drive into a touchdown. So a five-yard touchdown run for J.J. Green. Makes it 7-7 here in this ball game with 3.21 to go in the first quarter, as you'll see the replay right there, and the Georgia Bulldog. And here we go after a three and out and a really good 31-yard punt return. J.J. Green is going to take this pitch all the way into the end zone and makes it 14-7 Georgia just like that with a big run by J.J. Green as our defense just continues to struggle this year. But here we go, first and 10 on our next possession, two minutes remaining in the first, and Marshall's going to go and find Matt Harris on the slant route. It was later in the route, but he did end up finding him for 12 yards right there. Now third down and five, Marshall is going to find Matt Harris once again out across at about the 45-yard line, a 14-yard reception, and that is his second catch of the day. Now on first and 10, Marshall's going to hand this one up to Caleb Blanchard up the middle. He's going to get 15 yards right there. And now on second and one, Marshall's going to hand it off to Billy Cooper on the read option. And Cooper gets seven yards as the Jaguars are driving, trying to tie up this game before the end of the first quarter. And here we go, 14-7 the score, 30 seconds remaining. Marshall back to pass in the end zone, touchdown. That's the running back, Billy Cooper, with his second touchdown catch of the day. And Bilal Marshall has looked strong so far early. 14-14 your score. Now first and 10, and Ramsey is going to go ahead and find Terry over the middle. That is Tramel Terry with the 15-yard reception. And 14-14 is your score. All knotted up here at the end of the first quarter. Georgia 
has played well, but we have also played well. Neither defense has really stepped up yet. But second down and two now, start of the second quarter. Ramsey is going to find Harris over the middle. Jason Harris with an 11-yard reception. And that's just something I'm, I've been struggling with this season is just getting stops. You know, that we've gotten a few stops, but against these good teams, even against Kent State, there were just times I struggled to, you know, get the stops I needed to, you know, get in the game. I know we won our first two games, but still, it, there's just some, some plays we just couldn't get done, and the tackling is definitely not where I want it to be. And there's just a lot of things that could be done better defensively as Robinson is going to go ahead and get the end zone. Brett Robinson with his first touchdown of the game. 21 for 10 year score, five minutes remaining here in the first half. Kyle Clifford is going to take this one about four yards deep, and he's out across the 10. He's going to get to the 20, out across the 30. Kyle Clifford to the 40, across the 50. He's to the 40, to the 30, the 20, and he is taken down a 90-yard return, but nonetheless, very good field possession as Bilal Marshall is going to go ahead and scramble on first and 10, and he's hit, and he fumbles, and that very, very, very good kick return is erased just like that as Georgia gets the ball. First turnover of the day for either team, 4.56 remaining. And here we go. Ramsey is going to hand off to J.J. Green, who could have made that a big run had he not run into his blocker. That's still a 13-yard run. He's eased up to 123 yards rushing here and two touchdowns in the first half on just nine carries, absolutely just shredding our defense. So third down and four for Ramsey in the shotgun. He's got Robinson to his left side, and he's going to be back to pass. And he's going to fire on the left side for Terry, who hangs on as he's hit as he's catching the ball, but he still hangs on. And now Ramsey is going to find Davis right there on second and 10. That's a 14-yard reception for Reggie Davis, who's going to get the first down. And Bryce Ramsey is only throwing one incomplete pass so far. And now Ramsey is going to go over the middle and find Terry on the slant route. Tramel Terry with the 12-yard reception right there. 2.19 to go here. And with now with a minute 39 to go, third down and goal. Ramsey back to pass, and he's going to go on the left side, and it is caught by Davis. And Reggie Davis into the end zone makes it 28-14. And here we go, 28-14. Marshall is going to be rolling to his right side and doesn't really have anywhere to go. He's going to go ahead and scramble and get out of bounds. A 10-yard run, that's going to stop the clock. And now first and 10, Marshall is going to find Kyle Clifford, who gets out of bounds and stops the clock once again. A 14-yard deception for Kyle Clifford, his third catch of the day. And now second and 22 after an intentional grounding penalty. Marshall is going to go deep for Dejan Funderbunk. And that is a big gain right there. Going to get about 27 on the play. And now first and goal, 41 seconds to go. Marshall in the end zone finds the senior wide receiver, Matt Harris, who is probably the best wide receiver in South Alabama history. And he's going to get his first touchdown catch of the day. Makes it 28-21. And now 30 seconds to go. Second down and three. Ramsey back to pass. He's going to fire deep, and he's got a man. It is Tibbs. And he does not, luckily doesn't break that tackle. Brought down at about the 14-yard line. Second and 10 now. Ramsey back to pass. And he's going to be almost sacked, but it's intercepted. I would have been really pissed if that ended up in a touchdown. But luckily, it is intercepted right there. Uh, we should have had that sack. But nonetheless, we do get the turnover and stop them from scoring. So that brings us to halftime with your score, 28-21, Georgia on top. And, you know, I didn't really come into this game expecting to win. You know, it, it sucks coming out of a Sun Belt Conference and almost going undefeated last year, you know, winning 11 games, winning 12 the year before, just winning all these games. And it sucks coming into a tougher conference and knowing that these there's going to be games where I'm just going to have to, you know, as uh, Straight to Boston put it, look for moral victories. And I think that was a very good first half. I thought our offense played really, really well. Our defense didn't play all too well. Um, still getting shredded up most uh, like we have been most of the season. And you'll just see plays like that. That's just something that the Heisman CPU is just really good at. Is just making good plays as Blake Tibbs gets the first down. And now Ramsey is back to pass. He's going to find Davis over the middle. And that is an 11-yard reception for Reggie Davis. And that is going to get them the first down. Bryce Ramsey's only thrown four incomplete passes, one of which was to our team. So second and four. And Bryce Ramsey is just going to go up the middle on the four-yard run. And that is going to be a first down for Bryce Ramsey and the Georgia Bulldogs. And they are driving first and ten. Six minutes remaining in the third quarter. Ramsey is just going to dump it down to Terry right here. And that is going to be a 10-yard reception as Tramel Terry gets a pretty good catch right there. And Bryce Ramsey continues to shred this defense as J.J. Green is going to get into the end zone for his third touchdown run on the day. Makes it 35-21 with 4.59 remaining. 
And we, we definitely need to score right here as Caleb Blanchard is going to go up the middle right there for an eight-yard gain, Caleb Blanchard. Now, I don't hand the ball off to him, you know, all that often, but when I do, he does seem to get some good yardage. And that was later in the drive, Bilal Marshall getting into the end zone and making it 35-28 as Bilal Marshall um, gets in the end zone for a rushing touchdown right there. So, J.J. Green just continuing to shred this defense, 13 yards, just this is pretty much what he averaged every carry. Second down and seven now. Two minutes remaining. Ramsey back to pass. He'll dump it down to Terry, who's going to get the first down. Nine-yard reception right there for Tramel Terry as Bryce Ramsey continues to shred the Jaguar defense. And J.J. Green does the same as he's going to get another 13 yards for J.J. Green. He's up to 180 yards rushing, averaging over nine and a half yards a carry. And now, here we go, Tibbs on the right sideline is going to be pushed out of bounds as we head to the third quarter it's only a seven point game this is a this is a this is a game we can come back and win and you know we but we just we need we need to stop to have any shot at winning this you know we can keep scoring but we're not going to get any closer and we do get somewhat of a stop as georgia is forced to settle for a field goal at the end of this quarter and their field goal attempt is up and good so it makes it a 10 point game a little, you know, less of a deficit than a 14-point game, but still, nonetheless, it's a two-possession game. As you'll see, Kentucky, the team we beat last week, is up by nine points on the number four Florida Gators, who are 4-0 currently, uh, with only six minutes remaining in that game. So we'll see if Kentucky can hold on and pull off the upset. But 7-13 remaining now. Georgia is getting the ball back after we went three and out on our next possession and you know I felt so good about holding him to a field goal but we couldn't get anything done and then Harris right here the tight end on a little tight end screen he's gonna get 11 yards Jason Harris now on first and 10 Ramsey is gonna dump it down to Reggie Davis again who has been having a big day a 16 yard reception for Reggie Davis as he's up to 61 yards receiving now third down and two Ramsey back to pass and he's just gonna dump it down once again to Blake Tibbs who runs over the defender and gets a 11 yards right there as Bryce Ramsey continues to put up impressive numbers now five minutes remaining now Terman is gonna bowl his way into the end zone and makes it 45 to 28 a 17 point game not an insurmountable lead but it's definitely a, a lead that's gonna be tough to overcome as you'll see Kentucky pulls off the upset on Florida 42 to 40 and they improved to three and two on the season and that is Florida's first loss of the season I do believe we play them in a couple weeks but here we go Morris Jacob Morris is going to get this one 27 yards on fourth down and 10 and now on first and 10 Marshall is in the shotgun empty backfield and he's going to be back to pass he's going deep for Gore and that is Gore getting the big catch right there down inside the 10 yard line and now fourth and goal Marshall firing on the right side and then is batted down and that is a turnover on downs and with 319 remaining this is pretty much the ball game third and third down and three Bryce Ramsey in the shotgun and we are going to be sending the house to try to maybe stop a run I don't I don't know but it ends up being a screenplay and JJ Green had all the blocking he needed right there probably a little bit of a block in the back uh, right there but nonetheless JJ Green takes this one to the house and continues his impressive day an 85 yard touchdown reception makes it 52 to 28 this game's all but over a minute 40 to go fourth and 13 Marshall back to pass just kind of heaving it up and he's got a man deep and that is Dejon Funderbunk a 42 yard reception but really it's all in vain at this point as Bilal Marshall's up to 311 yards passing. Now second down and 10, Marshall is gonna fire and find Brad Rogers who's gonna get down to about the nine yard line, a 25 yard reception for Brad Rogers. But again, this is all in vain. This game is over, you know, it's pretty much over by now as Brad Rogers is gonna get the catch on the next play for a nine yard touchdown. And that is gonna be your final score. Number 11, Georgia comes in and takes care of business, taking care of business. Takes care of business, 52 to 35, and JJ Green, no surprise, is your player of the game. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. You know, we didn't pull it out, but again, you gotta look for the moral victories. Our offense played really well this game, oh, and I went for two. So it was 52 to 34. I went for two to try to uh, potentially make it a two-possession game, but nonetheless, we didn't get it. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.